Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Stirring Abyss. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we deal with big monsters. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of monsters over here, and the commander is by himself. I think he has taken a hit already, last episode, but uh, so have these guys, because they took a torpedo to the face. So that didn't go very well for them, and I have a plan. The plan is Chaplin. That's the plan. We're going to go ahead and kill the this guy over here potentially kill this guy over here and then we'll we're gonna you know we're gonna see what's gonna happen i'm not you know super confident that uh, we're not gonna take damage but i am super confident oh there it is just I already yeah i am super confident that we will not take um that, that we will not die so oh look at that this is even better this is even better than i expected <laughs> An automatic reload Wow, wow, I'm just, yeah, yeah, that, that goes like that, that goes like that, oh, the zooming in, I just, uh, yeah, just zoom in, mm -hmm. this is not the same session, you might note, if you're watching the episodes back to back, you might note that this is my morning voice, because I'm recording in, in the morning, and I, I do sound a little bit different in the morning, so, we are starved for time, and, well, we know where we need to go, ooh, inspect corpse, really? We know where we need to go, but we don't know where the other things are. Oh, this is a dead end. Okay, okay. That's good enough. I hope that it's a dead end on the back, because... Oh, I also hope that it's a dead end over there. Dang it. Okay, well, we're never gonna know. It might be a dead end over here. Right there. How will I be able to tell? Well, yeah, by moving over there, I will. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Shouldn't have moved more than... Okay. We're safe. We're safe. Yeah, I, I never... Once the torpedo landed, I was never afraid of what was going to happen. It was always going to be good, and it was. I... Yeah. As Croft approaches what remains of the aberration, his instincts scream and plead to stay away. It is dead, yet some part of it still lingers, some malignant presence gnawing at the edges of its fraying psyche. No room for cowardice. The more Croft can learn of this thing, the better their chances should another be encountered. It is not a physically imposing adversary, far from it, in fact. The creature seemed to, to draw its strength by draining something from them, a harvester from beyond the veil, drawing by fields ripe with life to consume. Sorry, not drawing. Drawn by fields ripe with life. Okay, that yeah. Well, we saw it attack already once. We, only the one time, and I'm good. I don't need to. I don't need to see it again. It doesn't actually do that much damage. So the the fathomer is way way harder, or not harder, but you know, way more dangerous because it does like 14, 13. I think maximum is that I saw was 15, and it does at least 13. 13 to 15 is my call. Probably 12 to 16, because, you know, it's, it's the edges and all that. Although the edges might be related to multiple dice throws. We don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, everything's safe here. So, Oh, no, everything is not, sna not safe. Not safe. What am I going to do? Oh, S Soviet supplies there. Okay. Okay. 17. Okay, we got this. We got this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to use that strategy of uh, melee attack on the previous turn. It's going to be fine. We're going to be all right. As for you, we're going to go this way. Uh, nothing there because there's a huge entrance over here. Look at the bulls. And this is where we spawned as well. So our objective. Oh, it's it's actually really far away. I don't like that. Let's go this way. Okay, we got something there. But it doesn't attack us. Hmm. Let's... Let's amplify signal before I destroy it. Ooh, we got treasure to the south. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Because now we can tell if there's treasure. Okay, there's one treasure here. There's an enemy right there. We can see that enemy. All right. All right. Not bad. There's some 
There's something else over there, I think. It might be just tuna. It's good. And there's definitely something over here in the middle of this. And it's not this one, I don't think, because it's too far away. Yeah, it's, it's way further up north. So what I will do is I will destroy that. Because nobody is going to notice. Right? That was plus three air. I'm okay with that. Soviet supplies. We found them. We found them all. No, no. No, no, no. I know what you're going to do. You're going to get that. Oh. It's not the clues. Is this not a clue situation? It might not be a clue situation. It might be a different one. So, we got treasure up here somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Over there. Eh, it's just crap. That's alright. You can get it. And then you move up. And I detect... Not you. You. A lot of enemies. There's a lot of enemies in there. Which means a, f a, f a flashlight would reveal them all. Okay, so you... Do that. And do this. I did not expect that to go that well. But it's alright. Because you're gonna explode anyway. Okay, this is a dead end. Oh, this was bad. Oh, it's a good opportunity for me to try the... Oh, this... Mm, for me to try the... <clears throat> excuse me. The void step. Wow. Now we know. Now we know. And it's a new turn. Okay. We got some tentacles. I think I can handle them. In fact... Oh, I might be able to shoot that. I hope I will. 86. It's not blocked. Okay, we got this. So here's the plan. I'm going north. No enemies there. Auto loaded. And then you keep moving up here. Dead end. Okay. The problem is there's gonna be a lot of enemies. What are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought the, the game was uh, was um, was giving me a uh, combat soundtrack. Okay, that's our objective there. So we need to search the Soviet base camp. It isn't like the other ones. Okay, let's let's shed some light in here. Hmm. Is that all the enemies that exist in here? Because I'm going to move over here. And I know they're not going to come here. So we're just going to head straight there. I think I'm going to go this way, try to explore this bit over here. That turn took a little while. Oh, there's a lot of them. That would be a good opportunity for another torpedo. Or, better yet, explosives. They are too far. I'm trying to identify where I can move without, without being seen. So that guy... Too far? No. There's so many of them! Let's go for it. That is really lucky that they're all put together. And in the next turn, I'll have weapon specialists. So, life's good. Nothing here, as far as I can tell. Yeah, life's definitely good. Uh, okay, so you're going over there. We're separated, but I don't fear the worst. I do fear the worst. It's the worst. I, hate, I fear it. Okay, nothing here. There's just a path. Oh, hi! No, you don't attack me. It's, it's alright. Let's see what they do. Because if they have tentacles to bring me towards them, it is going to be kind of shabby. 
Oh, that is shabby. Oh. What is that? Tentacle? Nope. Just being shot. Shot is alright. No tentacles. This is my, it's my jam. Alright. Alright. That's perfectly acceptable. And then you can move in. And you yourself take a shot, I think. Yes. No automatic reload? For shame. And then you have impeding dart. 0%! That sucks. That does suck. Wow. Well, that was worth it. That was necessary. Otherwise, that one would have not that would not have died. We got another one of those syringes that we definitely, definitely do not use. Definitely. And of course, the commander still hasn't gone. Twenty-one health over here. I need to look at your melee damage because you have an extra limb. Where is it? Melee aim, melee damage, eighteen to twenty-four. It's a crapshoot. It's also sixty-nine percent chance. So no. Let's go with the... Oh, wait. How much does that do? I don't know. Let's find out. Enough. Enough damage. And then you, 63, are killed. So there are more of them over there. Okay. Yeah. We're very powerful. I, I am definitely okay with this situation. This was... Uh, like, it was. it's a terrible encounter. Battle-hardened... Don't know what that does. Don't really quite care. I'm just opening my chances here. Let's see what you do. Oh, yeah, perfectly acceptable. And then you can move in. Somehow. Our objective is not here, by the way, I just now noticed. 72 miss. Yes. <laughs> Took a little while. Okay. You're gonna go over here. Get the air tank. 23, so you had 18, 18, 27, 21. So you take two gulps. Oh, this is the generator, right? I can mess with it, right? The generator appears to be in perfect conditions. And uh, they do, they definitely do not... Oh, no, she's out of ammo. Well, uh, that might not be a problem. It is not. Oh, it's that right. It has to be. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, where is the objective? Oh, it's that. Okay. Okay, we got this. Send the commander there, first and foremost. These things don't really have anything for me to pick. Right-click, right here. Oh, the, these are proper dead. The other ones were not, as it were. Even a cursory investigation reveals the tragic truth of the out, of this outpost that has turned into a grave. The Soviets were fighting amongst themselves. The fight that took place here was a brutal and savage affair of spears, knives, and torn air hoses. A fight to the death. Chills run down his back as Croft realizes these men must have been here just as they did. As comrades who had trained and traveled together for months, then the abyss broke them like a wave upon the rocks. All dead or worse, was really hoping for some answer. Or for some answers. Wait! The signal's still there. Weak but not far. Looks like someone escaped. Well, it doesn't actually look like someone escaped. It looks like th th their radio is still there. It doesn't look like anyone escaped that I'm just, just saying here. So let's see. You need two airs right there. And uh, let's move. And we're also going to destroy you because I am greedy for... I'm greedy for, uh, for some clues. I need all the clues. Okay, so you're going over here. Collecting that. Uh, that's an oxygen air tank, which is pretty nice. And then we're just moving back. And also, you are going over there. Actually, I could just go over here and then go through, because this thing disappears once you collect it. So, I might as well do this. And, uh, clue, uh, not clues. 
the... What's the word? What was the word for that? Supplies, that's the word. If I get home, will they just think I'm a freak? Nah, it's fine. Oh! Right. Let's do this. No, they're aggressive. They're aggressive. You can tell by the attack of opportunity. I was considering my options here. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, guess what? Some of them did survive. Also, I don't want to be that close to... to this. It's a bad idea. Also, it's a bad idea to attack them with these guys, because we don't have Baba Yagas. Ooh, 57. I still landed, and that's injured. Okay. So, I don't think that actually does much. I guess we're going to find out. Okay. So, we get one air hand move. You actually didn't need any, because... Oh, how much did you leave? Nine air. Yeah, you literally got one air. Okay. Yeah, this is this is a bad place. We're all gonna take a bunch of damage. I mean, if they're smart, which they might not be. Here comes the guy with a big pincer. And here comes the other guy with an attack of opportunity that dies. What were it? Why? What was he trying to do? Oh, that's a miss. Fortunately, it's not a miss for it over there. Okay. Oh, freaking hell. Now we have skulls. Uh, this is how you get... This is this is just how... Oh, man, we have two skulls. Now, well. Oh, we have treasure. Void marrow, I mean. That's no flare. Better check it out. Yes, 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 yes. Now, we are... We have our hands full right now. This is, uh... It's not great. This is really not great. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I want you to go over here and then do a hit on both of them. You missed! Good job! Yes, you can desaturate the colors because that's how I feel. Uh, then she has a bunch of damage. And let's see. How am I? I'm going to attack that guy. But I'm going to leave my, my options open right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to go with a Baba Yaga. And that's 56 on both of them. I'm going to attack over here. Yeah. That's why I left my options open and you auto-load it. And then you can't do much. Actually, that's not true. I can do um, the void step. But that's not necessarily great either. That is not particularly the best thing. I'd love to kill one of these. Yeah, because these guys... Yeah, I'm going to do the Void Step, but for different reasons. Because these guys are the worst. Ah, of course you missed. Okay, okay. Let's weigh our options here. You can attack over there. For 63, that's way too bad. It's way too bad. We're not doing that. Uh, numbing dart. Blinding. Works. Nice critical. And that's a, not a critical, but he does as much damage. And that's a kill. Okay. Then it all rests in the hands of the skulls. 16 damage. Perfectly acceptable. I don't know what that is, but I... Oh, it's insects or something. That guy just reloaded and moved. That is a little bit of damage. Perfectly acceptable. An attack of opportunity that I misses. That is not acceptable. Unacceptable. That's okay as well. A little bit of damage. Completely distributed. Another attack. Totally fine. Very nice. All things very, very good. And, uh, because we're down to one enemy only, so... What am I gonna do? I'm gonna reload. Oh, no, we're not down to one enemy. That's another enemy. There's two enemies. Okay. So, you... Are gonna attack there. Make sure that doesn't use all of your action points, and it doesn't. That didn't kill them all. Very unfortunate. And then you're going to Baba Yaga that guy. Okay. Two criticals. That makes up for the miss. Even though it was actually a very lucky roll. Then the commander here. Uh, I shouldn't have done it like this.
But this is the shortest way of getting both of them. And then 25 health. Miss. 30 health. And a little bit of sanity back, which is totally fine because you didn't lose any. And then we have a, dissolve, a blinding dart. 71% misses. And uh, no, no, that one. What? Oh, she got... Oh, did she reload the spear gun? Was that what happened? I didn't realize. Okay. That is that is okay. That is perfectly fine. Zero percent chance to hit. Let's see if you're outside of the explosion. You are. That is a kill. And we did it. We have four turns to do this. And it's a really good thing that we came here fast because, you know, I, I don't know what would have happened otherwise. Okay, we're going to get that in a little bit. Let's just get you. Everybody's outside of the range of this thing. So I'm just going to move right here. Confirm. Yeah. Need to be very careful. We don't, we don't want to have the same mistakes we had already. So that thing has a big duration. So we're just going. And we're getting it. Lovely. Lovely. Life is good. <laughs> that that's that's going really well. And a bunch of healings as well. Oh, I could have done it in this turn. Term? Turn. But I didn't. So, you get that. Seaman Petrov's notes. Pasha and I were able to sneak off while the others were not watching. Every instinct in my head is screaming at me to get out and to try and find the ship and get to the surface. Yet, that is not what we have to do. If you find this message, we have not succeeded in our task. I do not want to ask you to follow in our footsteps, but I have no choice. Find the summit, find the weapon, and destroy this cursed place. What follows is the arming sequence of, for the nuke, as dictated to me in the last words of Senior Lieutenant Kozlov, hero of the Soviet Union. An underwater nuke. There are videos on YouTube about that sort of stuff. They brought a damn nuke. We have to find this Petrov. Yeah, uh, I wonder what... Uh, sounds like we're heading the same way, at least. He says. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, uh, is that mission complete? It is not mission complete. This, these missions are enormous. Unless it is mission complete. Evacuate when ready. It is mission complete. Okay. Um, but yeah, an underwater, uh, underwater nuke doesn't actually do much. Because of the pressure of the water, basically. Because the, the, water, the water is too pressure. It's got too much pressure. Am I right here? I am right. In saying that, yeah, there it is. It's mission complete. Ooh. That was a good one. I like that. I like fighting those guys. They are they go down easy, but they, they're it's it's like a puzzle every time, and that's good. That's what turn based combat is for me. Oh, okay. Good, good. We got void marrow for everybody. We're gonna make uh we also have maybe needs, so that's four charges, four charges. Two charges of this. Sure, let's go with that. It's good. We need it. We need that. We need that. Okay, so we want you to be better at fighting. Specifically you. Because she's already pretty good. But you are weird. Because you don't do enough damage. You don't do enough melee damage to, to justify hiccups. I'm sorry. Then again, uh, my Enigma board is also aimed towards ranged. Speaking of which, speaking of which... Let's also first scan over here. Not that we're going to find anything. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, we still have another mission, the Diver Rescue, which is where uh, where we're going to go. But I saw the other one that was good. How many clues? 75 clues. That is terrible. That is really bad. Well, we're gonna. Th that means that we're going to go to the last mission with, with that extra thing, which is totally fine. Uh, after battery... No, no, that's not what I want. It's the extra limb. On you specifically. Costs that, yes. And then we have Herald of the K... Corpse Explosion. You know, that one actually might be good. Void Touched. Uh, no, that's a bad one. Crusher. That's what I'm talking about. Extra base damage. Then uh, just an extra damage on top. Unable to perform attacks of opportunity. Unable to use spear guns. No, that's bad. That is that is bad. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. But it, I have to, right? I have to do it. 
I have to do it, right? I mean, corpse explosion might be better. Cause a nearby corpse to burst open with explosive force, causing damage to any nearby cr creature. I'm gonna go with, the, yeah, Herald of the K. It isn't what I wanted, but at least I don't need to sacrifice my my own sanity as a player rather than the sanity of my of my um yeah you're good uh the sanity of my characters but we're out of time for the day so we're gonna go on that diver rescue mission in the next episode for right now i'm colonel rpg and this has been stirring abyss i really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and leave a comment like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later but above all thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next episode Bye bye